Hello everybody, this is Georgia McCabe and welcome to my first um, part one of my three-part series on Facebook advertising. What we're going to cover today is uh, the following. We're going to talk a little bit about how to set the goal for your campaign and then the type of research you can do to specifically make sure that you target the right audience. And then in part two, I'm going to talk about split testing and I'll show you a little example of what I mean by that how to write your ads, and then to really, um, once you've done that, target specific areas. And then we're going to show you how you can set up a budget and measure and analyze would be number three. So the first thing I want you to do is there are four main goals with Facebook ads. Um, one is you want to sell something. It could be sell for tickets to an event. It could be sell a new product, sell a new service whatever. Number two is how you can get lead generation. And by that I mean that you want to send someone somewhere so that you can capture their email address. Email addresses are gold because then you can always reach out to them. In the case of the first example in sales, if you're just going to sell something and you have no way of capturing it, if they don't do it, they're gone. At least this way you have a way to do it, capture the email, and continue to market to those folks. Number three would be you want to grow your Facebook audience. And finally, four might be, you know what, I'm just not getting that engagement, Georgia. Well, guess what, folks? It's pay to play these days with Facebook. And unless you're getting a lot of shares and comments and likes on the posts that you're doing, um, most likely at the best, maybe 16% of your fans are actually seeing what you're posting. And so a lot of people are using that technique. Now, there's a level of difficulty in each of these. You've got, you know, from a sales standpoint, you know, it's fairly easy to do. Um, it's, they tend to be a little bit more costly, but you can track. You can say, okay, yeah, I know exactly how many people actually bought my products. Same here. You can track how many people signed up. I'm going to show you an example of what we did with um, a, a, an event we just ran with H&H. &H. And we actually used this as a way that not only did we want people to go to our event, but we wanted to capture those email addresses so that when we do have specials or we do have other things, training, et cetera, we can reach out to them again. Facebook likes, if you really want to increase that, I wouldn't spend a lot of money on that. Um, maybe only if you're first starting out your page. And then engagement. If you really want people to see it, well then, folks, you may have to pay 10 bucks. Target who you want. Even if it's all just your fans, I wouldn't suggest that. But to get even more specific, maybe to target some of your competitors. Get them to see the types of things that you're doing. Um, so anyways, there's three different models in terms of you can have an ad that leads to a sales page so that someone can buy. You could have an ad that leads to some sort of uh, freebie, you know, um, download this ebook, you capture their email, they get to download it, or it might be just sign up for my webinar. Again, after they've done that, then you can have an email campaign and continue to sell to them. The third might be, you know what, I really want to get more people to like my page, so I might do an ad um, uh, for that. And hopefully, maybe there's even something there that they can buy. And number four is, you know what, I just want to increase my visibility. So there's these types of things, which is the type of ad you want to run based on your goal. And you can look at this. This is this will be recorded and up on the YouTube channel um, and on the website to come back to. But what I thought I would do is just quickly come over here to Facebook and show you a couple quick things. So here, um, if you're advertising on Facebook, the way you get that, and I'll show you at the end as you click here, and it'll show you where you get on the ads manager. But in this case, if you wanted to create an ad where you're going to click to a website. And let's use this as an example of what we did um, for the summer soiree that we did. Here, um, if you want to create an ad to get a very specific action, and then you want to track that to measure results, um, it's a little bit more difficult, but you would click on that one. Page post engagement. This is where you want people to comment, like, share. And so what you're going to do is you're going to hopefully get that out to more people because, like I said, Facebook may be only sending that, if at best, to 16% of the people that are fans of your page. Um, and Or if you want just likes. Or if you have apps to install, etc. So that's how you do that. Um, 
This uh, was a, let's just go to the H&H &H real quick. And I'll show you something that we did. We use an application called Short Stack. It's really cool. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive. We use it for a variety of things. But here what we did was we created an, um, a unique tab on our Facebook page. And it was all about our event, when it, where it was, what, what time, the location. We had a little bit about it in terms of the event itself. We had over $3,000 worth of giveaways, and we listed all them there. And then over here, I wanted people to say, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. So we asked for their name and their studio name and their email. And so this was actually, we had a link for this because you can actually get to this. Not You don't have to be on Facebook to get it with ShortStack. This is where we use when we set up our ad to actually drive people to go to. And so here you can see we had, um, this is a series of ads that we ran. We had impressions of over 30,000. We had over 544, and we had over 356 unique people RSVP for that. Now, what was really cool is we ran what we called these ad sets, and I'm not going to go into a lot of this right now, but I'll just show you an example of maybe one or two or three. But here's one, let's see. So these were all different ads that I developed, and what I did was I swapped out the image. I created a little bit different text. This is all going to be gone into in more detail in blog post number two. And then I used different targeting techniques. And I targeted based on maybe some competition, on what people liked. And let me show you how I got that information. So over here, um, when you get into Facebook, oops, up here, let's go ahead. And I'm going to say, I want to see pages liked by fans of H and H Color Lab. So if I was just targeting um, my clients that we have, I can see these are all the other pages that our clients happen to like. Okay? And you'll actually notice that I actually targeted some to Click and Moms. I did them to the Pro Forum site. I did them to Lightroom, etc. But I could have also said pages liked by fans of. And let's just take, um, let's say Miller's Professional Limiting. I always get their name wrong. Professional imaging. And probably, you're probably going to see, oh, maybe one that's a little bit different. Bauer Lens, Snap Knot. Now you see Arts and Couture is the same. Jasmine. Press Room, Light Room. So I would do a little bit of research, not only on what my fans like, but what some of my competitors do like. I can even go a step further and say uh, interests. Let's do this. Sometimes this is a little tricky. Interests of fans of. Sometimes you have to click in favorite interests. Don't give us a second here. I'm going to do that again. Interests. Typing is slow. That'll come up here in a second. Um, and so it'll actually show you different interests they like. Well, you know, my computer's just spinning, spinning, spinning. Let me show you one that I did here in the presentation so you can actually see that. Show you an example. Okay, so here we did, I actually did one saying, I want to see the favorite pages of people who like Sync Seniors. The next one was, I want to say favorite interest of fans of Sync Seniors. So what you would do is you would just type in favorite interest of fans of, you put either your name or your competitor's name or whatever else, and you will get a whole slew. And those are the things that you use to target 
the type of advertising that you're going to do. So the way that you get there, and I want you to go in and just explore around, is go ahead, go to your news feed. You have to, in order to use Facebook advertising, you have to be signed in as your personal Facebook page. You click on Ad Manager, um, and then you can it'll take you. You can it'll give you a, a thing to say create an ad. But I'm showing you this other little thing. I want you to explore. It's called Audience Insights. More of that on blog post too, but boy, is that a power research tool. Um, I'll give you a little glimpse of it. I can go in and I can check out, based on an audience, this is kind of scary actually, uh, I could go in the United States, I could go into San Diego, I could look at age group, I can put in interests, hobbies, fan pages, whatever, and I can get demographic data, how many and what pages they like. I can get activity, what they spend their time on. I can even find out if they rent or they own a house, what the average um, cost of the house is, and actually how they purchase things. Very, very powerful tool. Actually, I should do a blog post just on that. Anyway, so your next steps. This is what I want you to do. Do your homework. Think about your goals. Lay that out. So you know what? I'm getting ready. Um, I've got this big event coming up, and I want to promote that. Okay, so what would we do there? That would most likely be a click to a website, um, uh, click to a website. And there you could either use short stack or maybe you have a page on your blog or on your on your actual website or maybe even use a tool, something like landing pages. Um, so I want you to think about that. Or if you want to start simple, okay, I just want to promote out a post, you know. And so go ahead and just say, you know what, I just want to do, I want to get more engagement. Then I want you, but I really want you to do your homework and, and lay those things out. And then I really want you to try and play around with those research tools that I just showed you to really kind of understand what are the interests, what are the likes, what are the people um, that are your fans, your competitors' fans, maybe even your partner's fans interested in. And that's how we target, and that's how we get the best bang for our buck. Um, stay tuned for part two. We'll go into a lot more detail. As always, you can reach me at the following sites. Facebook page is Georgia McCabe, uh, Twitter, Mama Gigi, my website, or email me. Thanks, folks. Look forward to hearing from you.